Let me show you how to install eSIM on every latest Google Pixel phone, including the Pixel 9. So first, open your settings and basically swipe till you see your network and internet here basically. Then click on your SIMs and here you can basically add a new SIM card. And for this process, we will actually need our SIM card in a QR code format basically. So you can purchase this or ask your mobile network operator for this basically. Then click add SIM basically and for this process you actually need an internet connection so make sure you are connected to a Wi-Fi or maybe have a physical SIM card already in this phone that has got data without any data we can't set it up so then simply click set it up and wait for a while Okay, and next we will need to scan our QR code. If you do not have a QR code like this, which you can scan, then you can click this need help and basically uh, enter it here manually here as well. And you can actually enter the code that the network provided here. But let's use our QR code. Simply take our QR code and point it like this. By the way, we need it uh, or some on other device. On other phones, such as Samsung, you can pick up this QR code from an internal storage. But really, this is still a limitation on Pixel phones. Okay, and as you see, it found our SIM card and let's click set it up. And this will take maybe uh, up to a minute really. Okay, and our eSIM got activated. Then let's click on the settings, and then basically we can click on our new SIM card here, and we can turn it on by pressing this. Then also in this field, uh, we can actually enable mobile data. Sometimes mobile data isn't enabled by default, so if you can't access your mobile data, again, uh, go to the settings, your SIM cards, find your SIM card here, and make sure your mobile data is enabled. By the way, you can actually use two SIM cards at the same time on this phone. Uh, one physical SIM card and one eSIM. So if you have both installed, make sure you select here calls and SMS preferences. Otherwise, when you actually try to make a call, it might use a different SIM card than you want to. Anyway, good luck.